You don't really know much about Halloween. And welcome to another episode of Sinister Snacks. I'm your host, Joel. And I'm Laura. And we are the New Dads. And on this episode, we are here to discuss something that my wife is not a fan of typically, and I have enjoyed since I was a child, Pringles. I am not a Pringle fan. She is not. And that's okay. It's, it's not everything in this world has to be for everybody, and that's what yeah. makes the world wonderful. Um, but on this episode, we have three different brand new flavors. So... Um, I was very excited when I saw these because I didn't know these existed and um, we were curious to try. So the first one is Carnitas Taco. Um, so these are artificially flavored, so no meat has been in involved. Because we're vegetarians. We are. Uh, it is bursting with flavor is the claim. Um, so let's find out. Um, it's been a hot minute since I've had Pringles since uh, my wife doesn't eat them and I don't eat them very often. I'm not like a super fan, like I don't go out of my way. But uh, it smells like Pringles to me. Well, I can I can smell the taco. But um, I couldn't pass up the opportunity to to try a new flavor with these, because uh, some of the ones that they've got their flavors are delightful in my opinion. Yeah. All right. Cheers Cheers for you two. Too. Hot one. Mmm. Is this gonna make me like Pringles? I'm getting. Mmm. Getting the Carnitas little, taco. Getting the porky stuff. I need another one. The lime. I always do three of everything. So. I, got, I like the lime. Are you getting cilantro? Got a little bit of onion. That is really good. The only I'm not sure about is a cilantro. I don't I know what that really tastes like. I usually hate Pringles. Well, the chip itself, the like the quality. And everything is the same. Like, I still get that Pringle style of chip. It's still there. Even though I'm a vegetarian, I still like meat, but I don't eat it for, like, personal reasons. Um, so this is making me, like, very happy. Now, it's not vegan, but it is uh, vegetarian because it has milk and uh, uh, may contain milk in it, but there's no meat, so... That's yeah. delightful. It is. It's it's good. I wasn't sure what to expect because we've had carnitas uh, chips before that were similar and that that stood up to the only thing the, that would make the, it better is if it was like you know a kettle kettle kind of chip for me. Which, I'm gonna give it a nine. I hate Pringles too. The Pringles guy is in shock. Look at his face. He's mm. like, ah, uh, wow. I don't know that I would go that high, but I do believe that they've. That was good. Climb. And these are, I would eat the rest of this. Okay, you can hold it. <laughs> um, so I'm going to give it an eight. Nine. Second, we have for the Pringo Company is Mexican street corn, something my wife street and I. Sworn. Sworn, 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 sworn. Sweet sworn. Sweet sworn. I haven't been drinking, I swear. Uh, my wife and I both are huge fans of, of elotes. and got to listen to the pop. Oh. <clears throat> Why don't you pop? You can't stop. You can't stop. Kept me on black tar heroin for years. Um, smells like street corn. It to me. does smell like street corn. And we've had good experience with street corn chips because there's several brands of uh, chips that make them. I feel uh, like it goes well with a chip, you yeah. know. Especially if it's a corn chip. Like there's a corn, uh, Aldi's what has one that is super good. All right. Be gentle because mine's cracked. Oh, no. Yeah. Cheers to There we go. There we go. <laughs> corn. I maybe have Pringles. I just need flavored ones because mm -hmm. you don't like them. I think it's just a regular flavor. That's tasty. That you don't like. Okay, so this one looks like is lime, uh, mayo. Mm. It's a street corn. I taste the lime. I forgot the name of the cheese. 
Kohita, Ko Ko Kohita, yeah. Ko Kotia. Kotia. I think it's Kohito, but I don't know. I could be no. wrong. No. We're wrong. Now it's not the most street corny this chip I've ever weird. had. Oh yeah. Which the ones from Aldi, the big giant dipper ones that they have that are street corn are probably the closest I've had to actual like street corn. But these are still bursting with flavor and quite good. These ones I would probably give like a, a seven. That's where I was sitting. Oh, mm -hmm. I got lime on that one. Mm -hmm. It's fun when you get the lime. I didn't have lime on the first two. Yeah. But that third one I, mm -hmm. I got That's lime. That's how I was. I was like... Second one, I think I had lime. Pringles has a ton of different flavors. Like you got your standard, your sour cream and onion, your you know cheddar cheese. Your uh, barbecue is is a personal favorite of mine. But they keep doing these little odd things every now and then. And they've got different. Anyway, yeah. So they're they're definitely winning at life. So next and finally, not next, <laughs> the last up, Philly cheesesteak. This is the whole reason I bought these because I saw those and I was like, okay. I got to get them. I'm really excited about this. We saw one of those and I was like, oh, that's interesting. And then I saw the second one, I'm like, oh, even more so. And then I saw this and I went, I just grabbed and put them in the cart. Oh. All right. <clears throat> Once you pop, you can't stop. That's not the song. I want heroin again. All right. Um, oh, it smells like cheesesteak. So we, we, it's been since March since we converted. Yep. Um, oh. it smells like cheesesteak. Yes, for you, two, part three. Mm -hmm. Hope for the best, kids. Green pepper. Mm hmm. That's the first thing I got. A little bit of onion. Definitely green pepper. Green peppers is weird because you don't think of potato chips having green peppers in them. That's not like the first thing you're like, hey, I want a green pepper potato chip. So that's a little weird, but. And you taste like a. Uh... Cheesy. Mild. Mm -hmm. I got a little bit of the cheese that time. Onion. I haven't gotten any meat flavor, really. I was expecting just a little bit of that. There, there are some chips that have kind of a beefy flavor. The steak chips they used to make at, at Meyer, <clears throat> the, the best chips that used to be on the planet that don't exist anymore. Um, figured out how to do that right. I'm not quite getting the meat part, but I'm getting all the other flavors. Mm -hmm. I'm a little underwhelmed. Yeah, I thought this was going to be the best. Compared to the carnitas one. It's not. I think the carnitas wins in this, out of this trio. Oh, good. They're good. I would eat yeah, them. Yeah, but... I don't hate them. I'm telling you, I usually hate Pringles. But I, would I buy this particular one again? Probably not. The other two, the carnitas taco, no doubt. The elote? Maybe. Maybe. I don't hate these. But they definitely aren't quite living up to what I expected. Yeah, I'd for sure buy these again. So for the Philly cheesesteak Pringles, mm, where is it? I'll give it a six. I um, was actually thinking of five. I know that. <laughs> good thing I love her. I wanted to remind myself what it tastes like. Still a nine. <laughs> so I'm sitting at a five for these. Uh... Like I said, I like them. Would I buy them again? No, probably not. Will the kids like them? Probably not. Which means that we're going to end up picking at them until they're gone. And then we will throw the uh, Pringles cans at each other for fun. Well, we can pop the thing out and scare the dogs. Oh. You're like, woo. So if you'd like <laughs> to find us, uh, you can find us at thenewlydads.com. You can check out our podcast. Uh, we have a television show that is available through the Vortex, Other Worlds TV, the Monster Channel, and Tingler Television. Can check out that it's called dollar store driving that's what the podcast is it's the audio version of that show you can also find out where we're going to be we are artists so if there's upcoming events where you want to find us and meet us in person check there for that uh there also is information about our blog uh, she writes a blog for uh small business reviews i write a blog uh for movie reviews a lot of times tying to our show um and just a lot of other content there as well as all of our youtube stuff which you can find here on the youtubes did i forget anything no. Oh, yeah. If you want to reach us, oh, yeah. contact at thenewlydeads.com, and you can write to our dogs, Bailey or, or um, Shaggy, Shaggy over there. Wolf. They'll say wolf back. Mm -hmm. And they'll be happy to, to return the favor. So that is everything. Yeah. All right. All right. Until next week, we'll quit. Quits.
yakking and get, get back, back to snacking. Oh, I've messed it up. Bye.